Unforgettable? We'll see about that. Enough is enough. Are you threatening me? Yes, I'm threatening you. This is my life. It's mine! <laughs> so Unforgettable is a new psychological thriller that stars Rosario Dawson and Katherine Heigl in the film, we follow a character played by Rosario Dawson who has just left a company and who is also out of an abusive relationship and she's now getting married to someone who happens to have an ex-wife played by Katherine Heigl who is very, very unstable and when she finds out that Rosario Dawson is marrying her ex-husband, she has a lot of problems with it. And I mean, a lot. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Unforgettable. There is one thing I can say that I did kind of enjoy about this film, and that's Rosario Dawson. I felt like that she was really the only person that was actually trying to give it her all, but otherwise, uh, no. So, unforgettable. Was it unforgettable? Well, it was. Not in a good way, though. <laughs> okay, now, puns aside, I was not looking forward to this movie at all, and when I saw a trailer for it, it looked like a movie that was made for the Lifetime channel. And walking on this movie feels like a movie that's made for the Lifetime channel. While Rosario Dawson does try, everybody else, oh my god. Katherine Heigl, okay, here's the thing. I haven't seen her in a good film since Knocked Up. I cannot think of a single film since Knocked Up that I actually liked her in. In this movie, Katherine Heigl confuses unstable with cartoonish. Like in one of the very first scenes, she could not have been more passive aggressively cartoonish as she was. And there is a scene near the end of the film, I am not going to lie, the way she was emoting her dialogue, I was trying so hard not to bust out laughing. Now, okay, there's a guy who looks like Josh Duhamel, I believe. I know that's not how you pronounce his name. There's a guy that looks just like him. I think his name is uh, John Stolberger, I believe his name is. Oh, wow. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that all the acting besides Rosario Dawson sucked. Now, the script of this movie is the movie's biggest flaw because the script of this movie is so poorly written. The plot holes alone in this movie just made me go like <laughs> Now for example, without going into spoiler territory, there's a scene in the second act when Katherine Heigl has found the kid, her kid, and she is talking to her ex-husband in the movie, and apparently the ex-husband tells Rosario Dawson's character that she was talking to somebody. No mention of the little girl saying anything. But then let's say about 10 to 15 minutes later in another scene, Rosario Dawson says, So, who was that you were talking to? And the little girl says, What? Why did the little girl say anything? I mean, that's just one of the few things. And when a script is that poorly written, Minor things like that stick out to me like a sore thumb. And it's melodramatic as all hell, let me tell you that right now. Like, there is a scene in this movie as well in which there's something that happens that's supposed to be very crucial to the story, and this was me the entire time. Ooh. So bad. It makes me... <laughs> it makes me laugh just thinking about it. Finally, oh my god, this... This part made me laugh hysterically, all right? There's this big reveal that's happening in this movie, and it's such a no-shit Sherlock situation what's going on. The ex-husband sees something going on, and when he finally pieces it together in his head, th the look on his face... <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. Just the way how his face was reacting to it, I heard the Legend of Zelda treasure chest song going off in my head. And not to mention, there were quite a few times where I was bored. And and not to mention, predictable as hell. I mean predictable as hell. So overall, while Rosario Dawson is giving it her all, Unforgettable is unforgettably bad. It is a movie that when you watch it, it is a movie that feels like it should be on the Lifetime channel and nowhere else. So overall, I'm gonna give Unforgettable a 0.5 out of 5 stars. Unforgettable. Oh god. The irony of this situation right now. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so comment down, let me know below. Have you guys seen Unforgettable? 
If so, what'd you think? Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Unforgettable. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I have a Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, where I stream every Saturday night. I have a Snapchat, so if you guys want to follow me on all those platforms, all the links and the usernames are in the description below. Subscribe to see more content from me if you guys want. And of course, until the next review, I will see you guys next time.